To create a new brush from scratch, enter the brush menu by tapping on an already active tool and then tap New Pack. To edit a brush, tap on it while active or tap Edit Brush from up here. I'll start by adding a single stamp and adjusting the size a bit so you can see what's going on. Now let's scroll down to the shape controls. In this section, you can adjust the spacing, scatter, and rotation of the stamps. By default, the setting is 30% spacing between stamps, as in general, the denser the spacing, the lower the performance. The cool thing about these split sliders is that you can apply a range of spacing to introduce some randomness. This makes it harder to notice the repetition of the stamp. For uniform spacing, push half of the slider against the other. The values can be typed in as well with a tap and hold directly on the value. Shape spacing also comes with a variance graph. This allows you to harness the stylus pressure, tilt, and velocity inputs to affect spacing. Applying light pressure in the brush preview highlights the start of the graph, heavy pressure highlights the end of it, and varying pressure will cover most of it. Now if I make changes to the graph, it will affect the brush's spacing at any given pressure. There are separate graphs for both tilt and velocity inputs, which follow the same logic. To reset a graph, double tap the gauge on the side. We also have two other sliders for scatter and rotation. Scatter allows you to set how far from the stroke center line each stamp is placed. Like with spacing, both sliders let you specify a range of values to vary the results. Rotation is essentially the angle of your stamp relative to the stylus. And here is a checkbox that allows the stamp to always point in the direction of the path, thus removing the dependency with the angle of your stylus.